Hello everybody, my name is Tommy and this is Chocobo here. And this puppet really does need to get a makeover. So he, right now Kirby's on here. Probably get made over another time. I mean, that's a problem. I keep getting the wing tied with the string. <laughs> it rhymes. Okay. Well, let's get Kirby off. I like putting Kirby on here. See the link in the description below to learn how to make Kirby and as well as Chocobo. So let's take a look at some of the problems why we need to make Chocobo over. First off, we can just take a look and see absolutely how lumpy this is. It's not, it doesn't look too bad, because this is one of, one of the, well, not really an old puppet, but it's not really that new either. Take a look at that. See, now the eyes, I have a problem with the eyes. I want to remake the eyes entirely, get rid of these. And the puppet jaw here, this is a very hard to use puppet. It does not work very well. There's a handle back here. But it's just, yeah, it's just, it's hard to use this puppet. It doesn't work very well. Yeah. So yeah, you can just see, now let's take a look up here, right up close. I'm gonna bring the chocobo right up close here. And we just really need to smooth out chocobo, really. It's mostly just a smoothing and some correcting some anatomy. It definitely needs some new eyes. I don't like these eyes. You know, the wings really need to be smoothed down. Look at the back here. Pretty lumpy. You can still see the newspaper. And then the feet definitely, well, definitely got to do some work on the feet. Here, let's take the spindle out. Take a look at the feet here. Now, the feet are not too bad. The bottoms are actually pretty darn, pretty darn good. But definitely on the top here. No, it's not. I'd bring the camera towards here, but right now I'm working with a really finicky charger and a very bad camera battery, so bear with me. So, there's the preview before. So let's get to work on Chocobo right now. I'm already wearing old clothes that you probably noticed. Welcome to Tommy's Puppet Lamp! <laughs> Always gonna cut away from myself. Alright, Chocobo, your wings are off. I have clipped your wings. Your makeover begins now. All right, wings are off. So it's gonna be a lot easier to make over your puppet when you take it take it apart. Cause you are gonna be taking it all, putting it all back together again. So something I like to do when I'm making over, I like to make them lighter. There's way too much newspaper in here, but I'm probably going to do that after I do the smoothing. Because we, what we need to do is we need to actually sand. I'm going to use the power sander and sand it down as much as you can. Because this, what this will do is it will make it easier for the glue to stick onto this, onto here because it's our, I've already treated it, I've already sprayed it. So. I don't believe this. I use this as, as, as material for the chocobo. Wow, that takes me way back. We're working on a nostalgic character and we come across nostalgia. Good times.
All right, look at all the newspaper I just took out of Chocobo tail feathers. I mean, they're feathers, they should be light. And this is also going to be, I mean, it's also going to mean that there's going to be a lot less weight on the back. So that means they'll be able to keep Chocobo nice and stable, so that'll be nice. Nice and solid, so we can, it's safe to take all this weight out of here. Great, so I'm just going to keep smoothing. Oh. So let's take a look at this here. This is the uh, this is actually the, the puppet jaw lever. It's a, a dowel glued on a piece of cardboard. This was kind of really, really bad. Yeah. But it did do a good job keeping the cardboard straight. Like when I try to bend it, it's really hard to bend it. So it did do a very good job keeping it straight, but yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to show you here. Um, so I just re I refaced the bottom of Chocobo's head. Um, yeah, I just kind of cut off the ugly stuff here. It was just all paper mache, uh, just lumpy, and it was actually really hard. I can't even work with it. Just throw that away. This is gonna look nicer, and I put the spindle on. It'll be nice and flat. So I'm just gonna close this off because we're gonna make a. Nicer puppet jaw. I'm wearing gloves here because I don't want to burn myself. And of course, when I'm using power tools, I gotta wear safety glasses. I'm not wearing my microphone 
because I just don't want it. Well, not when I'm doing work like this. Never cut to towards yourself. I just spoke to it. Shouldn't have my knife out this far. Ah, just spoke in it again. Don't cut towards yourself, folks. Nope. Never cut towards yourself. There you go. So this was getting so, look, look how thick this material was. Right here, look how thick it is. The, so I just discovered something. If this does not work because the material is too thick and hard, a pumpkin carving knife works like a charm. I can't believe it. It can actually cut this and it's still actually intact. Now this basically is a jigsaw, a hand jigsaw, really, so. This works surprisingly well, so this is another tool you should be adding to your to your uh, toolbox. So I got myself two, and that is exactly where they're going in the toolbox. I just wanted to show you that, but yeah, I need to move this hole over, and I probably am going to reposition. These are actually feather tufts. Always wearing safety glasses, just so you know. Always wear safety glasses when you're doing this kind of work. So I'm using a standing block. You should never underestimate how well this works and how how smooth this how smooth it can make things. Never underestimate the value of manual labor, seriously. They're the essence of power tools. And this does a fantastic job. You should definitely have a standing block in your toolbox. And you can change the sandpaper too. I'm using course right now. It's great for getting into hard to reach areas. Whew. That's a good workout for the arms, man. Wow. are tired. Whew. <laughs> oh. I know you're saying just use the router sander but it doesn't do a good job as it does with a lock sander for some reason so I'm just trying to smooth this part out because it looks too wrinkly and looks too obviously made out of paper. I want I want all my puppets to look to be at the point where people are always going to ask where are they made of. Instead of saying, oh, that, that's paper mache, I want them to say, hey, where are they made us? They look so smooth. Ha <laughs> ha. And I am getting asked that question now. Okay, so here's something that I want to show you here. So the inside here is a piece of uh, cardboard tube. 
I actually glued it on the inside here. And that is gonna keep the spindle in place because I took all the newspaper out, but instead of having the newspaper holding in place, this cardboard tube is gonna do a much better job. Makes it much more stable and sturdy. So no more problems with the head. Okay, let's get the bird all glued back together. Okay, let's get the feet back on. Oh yeah, these are some nice, big, mighty feet for a bird. I got the, I got these here just to keep, just to make sure that they stay in position. Ah, I'm gonna see if I can. Oh yeah, see, look, this is already standing on its own. I'm not doing anything. See, well, that's a good sign. Oh yeah, this is already looking better. Yeah, it doesn't have that cardboard trim around. See, and, uh, yeah, this is right, this is right, yeah, because I kind of have this smaller toe here. And, yeah, this looks much more proportionate. And then there's actually a little spacing at the back, which looks really good. See? Not sure how well you can see that. There, yeah, there's just a little bit of spacing here, which is nice. Even these, though these two are touching pretty close, but I mean, I can, I can tolerate that. It just means it's gonna go, oh, oh, this is very good balance, holy smokes. Wow, this is a well-balanced puppet now. I'm very happy right now, I'm very pleased. The, the birds are singing, you hear that? That's, that's a sign things are going well. And they sing a lot. Okay, people, let's get the tail feathers on. And the bird's wing is pinched on to the other side. Okay, so I just wanted to show you quickly here. So Chocobo has a new puppet lever. So this is just basically a paint mixing stick. So I cut the uh, hole in there. I slid the paint mixing stick in here. And then basically, I just cut a small opening at the back there. And I'm just going to put on the uh, bottom jaw, which is the lower mandible, onto here. And then we should be able to make him talk. Okay, everybody, so we're gonna be painting Chocobo. I got all my stuff here, and uh, yeah, we're doing it in the living room, so we're, we're ready to start painting, so let's get started.
So here's Chocobo, everybody. Wow, look how smooth this bird is. I love Chocobo, like a, like a big bright yellow bird of sunshine. <laughs> and the puppet jaw works great. The, jumping, the, the puppet jaw was terrible before, oh my gosh. Oh wow, I just can't believe, so smooth and, oh man. So you can see that the, the feathers are a lot fluffier because they were pretty flat from before. And uh, puppet jaw works a lot better, like I said. And the eyes look so much better too, because wow, <laughs> when I had them on the, when I had them on display at the summer games, the eyes were always derpy. First thing you see when you walk in, here he is, Chocobo. Oh, I got a little derpied. Every time I came there, even when I corrected it, because the kids were always touching the eyes, and oh, I guess the kids like a derpy chocobo. Thank you, kids. <laughs> well, anyway, that's those, not just kids, but you know what? I get a lot of compliments from all kinds of people here. They're just, well, he did before, but now wait till they see him now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the gallery curator likes this, likes this puppet. Wait till he sees them now. Oh my goodness. What an improvement. Well, take a look at the feet here. Much harder, smoother, and they actually look proper. They were just rounded like, I don't know what they were. They were weird. Oh my gosh. I just can't believe this. So let's get Kirby back up on here now, shall we? <laughs> Okay, Kirby, there we go. Let's get Kirby back up on here. Can Kirby still fit? Oh my goodness, yes. That's an even nicer fit than before. See, Chocobo, this puppet is great to keep another puppet on. Yes, don't worry, Kirby will get a makeover sometime. Don't worry, I won't leave Kirby out. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you can't even see Kirby. It's like a perfect hiding spot. But when you stand up here, let's just raise the camera. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Kirby looks so happy up on there. I know he missed Chocobo, but yeah, this is awesome. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, Chocobo. Well, that's it everybody. Chocobo got a makeover. Oh man, I just can't get over how, how awesome this looks. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed this makeover. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.